Hello and welcome to the Grapeseed Official Podcast. We have Aaron on today. We're going to do a, a deep dive on managing teacher relationships and kind of just getting the most out of having good relationships with your coworkers. So welcome to the show, Aaron. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm very excited about this topic. Yeah, we haven't had a teacher says in a while. Last week's episode that came out, we we had the sad announcement that Bruno's going to be leaving his school. So we have to figure out what we're going to do with the the next generation of the teacher says podcast, but you will definitely be invited back for that when we get to it. But getting back to our topic here about teachers and building relationships with coworkers, this is something that that you're you're very passionate about. So the floor is yours. All right. So I want to open up with a, a question to you, Adam, and also oh to the listeners to get started. What are your thoughts, um, especially in regards to spending time outside of work hours with your coworkers or with your bosses? Are you someone who enjoys it or are you a little hesitant and you you go out, but maybe... You, you you're not happy about it, but you have to save face. I think personally for me, I'm I'm usually into it. I mean, of course, this is everybody's going to answer this sa- the same way in that it it depends on the person that you're with. <laughs> there have been some coworkers that I would love to go out with more often, and some that I uh, I would not like to go out with again. But <laughs> that, I think that's that's any job, any role, you kind of have things like that. But I I'm not against it. I, I do I do enjoy it, and plus. I, I like that you get to see your coworkers outside of their, well, specifically in our conversation here, outside of their teacher role, right? You get to kind of see what makes them tick. You get to see like what they're passionate about and interests that you might share together. One thing, it, it's kind of like with students, right? Where outside of the grapesy classroom, we want teachers to notice things about their students. And then you can talk about it during your lessons. And that kind of gets more buy-in from the students in a similar way. Like if you know that one of your teachers likes rock climbing, for example, you can talk to them about that and, and learn more. And maybe you'll find your own new hobbies and interests and things like that. So I think it's, I think it's definitely a valuable thing to, to go for. Wow, that's a, that's a great answer. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, I'm also, if you can guess it or not, I'm also on the side. I love it. Maybe even more so than that. I I really do love going out with coworkers. It would be a bosses. very short podcast otherwise. <laughs> and I, I also understand there, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's also popular that because I hear from my friends complaining a lot, like, oh, I have to go out again with the work thing. Um, I have to spend time outside of work. And it doesn't sound like it's a very positive thing, but they they still have to do it. Um, I'm always happy when I get those opportunities to go out. And I have a goal for this episode, for this podcast. I hope to convince you that it's great. Hopefully change your mindset that, oh, you want to go out. You, you see the positive values of going out. And best case scenario, push you to take some action and get some plans set up. That's a great idea for the podcast. I kind of wish I would have gone more devil's advocate from the beginning and just been <laughs> acted like I was more of a grump so you could have convinced me. But no, I'm, I'm sure there are teachers out there that that maybe they're very busy. Like if you have kids, for example, or mm-hmm. you just, you're, you're working so many hours of the day and you don't even really get a chance to interact with your coworkers at all. So you don't really see the value in it. I think there's there's a lot of people out there that probably would like to hear about this and potentially have their minds changed. All right. So let's get into it. The first thing, the first point, I'm going to focus more on the individual right now. What, why, why should this matter to you as the individual? And my big philosophy of this, it's maybe a big concept, but it's maximizing my time to what I would say my happiness. Hopefully, when you're spending this outside of work time with uh, coworkers, hopefully you're doing an activity that you would already enjoy on your own. That it could be going out just uh, like a restaurant that you like um, or doing activity. Um, I like that rock climbing activity. That's something that might be interest me. 
and can be something fun that you would do just on your own. So you're spending your time, which I think that's a, a very limited resource we all have is time. And you're spending that on something you would like. But now if you're doing that with a coworker, you're also getting the added benefit of building a relationship with someone you you spend time with every single day. So you're getting some added value that you, you could be doing this just by yourself. You could do this activity by yourself and get happiness through that. But now you're doubling up, getting two birds with one stone and building this relationship that will also best case scenario, it's going to pay dividends. It's going to increase your productivity at work, increase your happiness at work as well, having this better relationship, but you're spending the same amount of time to get both of these both of these outcomes. The classic example, right, of especially here in Japan, and I know Korea as well, is that, okay, after work, you go grab a couple of drinks with your coworkers. That, and even if you're not into drinking, then you can totally do going to dinner, like you said, or other activities. Yeah, exactly. Just a few weeks ago, or maybe it was a few months ago at this point, I, I had plans. I was going to go out to lunch the next day. This was on Friday. I was going to go out on Saturday. And current plan was just by myself. There's this restaurant I really like. I'm going to go to lunch. And I thought, hey, I'm going to ask my coworker. If he wants to go with me, that's great. But if he doesn't, I'm still going to go because I like this restaurant. Um, but he did come with me. And I enjoyed the restaurant a lot. But also spending time with my coworker, we talked, of course, about our personal lives. But we also spent a lot of time talking about work things. So I I had a great time because of the activity. But I also was able to build that relationship and kind of talk about some work things that were on my mind, but maybe couldn't really talk about during actual work hours. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day. But now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.